Let's see how to use the basic functionality of the Agilent E3640A power supply. Go ahead and turn the power on. The first thing you might want to do when setting up your power supply is to give it a current limit. To give it a current limit, hit display limit, hit the voltage current button so that way the current section is flashing, and change your current limit to whatever you desire. I'm going to change mine to 50 milliamps. The current limit will ensure that you don't send more current than you intended to your circuit. Now, in order to choose the output voltage you want, choose whether you want to use the low range or the high range. The low range allows you to output up to 8 volts, the high range up to 20 volts. So let's say we want to output 5 volts. I could go to the low range, go ahead and turn my output on. Right now it's set to 0 volts switch back to voltage, and now I will change this to 5 volts. So now my, so my power supply is outputting 5 volts. I should have this all set up before I connect it to my circuit and turn the output off as I connect it until I'm ready to power my circuit on. The settings will now be saved, so whenever I push the output on button, I will go back to having 5 volts with a current limit of 50 milliamps. Let's make sure that I did indeed output 5 volts. Right here you can see I have a red lead and a black lead. The red always connects to the positive and black to the negative. I have the leads connected to my power supply and the other ends of them connected to a multimeter. If you look at the multimeter over here, I have my red input going into the volts input, the black going into the low or ground input, and I can set my multimeter to read a DC voltage by pushing DC volts. If I had it set on any other setting, I'll be getting garbage information because that's not what I'm measuring. I'm currently measuring the voltage, and as you can see, I do pick up 5 volts. If I change my voltage on the power supply, I'm turning the knob. As you can see, the measurement of the volts coming out is going different. If I want to get more than 8 volts, I have to go back to the high setting and then go ahead and increase my voltage up to 20 volts. And as you can see, that is reflected on the multimeter.